Over to Gambia now, where the president-elect Adama Barrow has lost his eight-year-old son after he was bitten by a dog. Habibao Barrow is reported to have died on the way to hospital on Sunday in Munjai near the Gambian capital, Banjo. Barrow, who's currently in Senegal, was unable to attend his son's funeral. The regional body, ECOWAS, has asked uh, Mr. Barrow to stay in Senegal until his inauguration that is planned for Thursday. Now, still in Gambia, a stalemate persists over the inauguration of the next president. Now, this after many failed attempts to convince the incumbent president to accept defeat. Yaya Jame, who initially admitted election defeat, says he will not step down until May. Jame's attempt to overturn the election results has been delayed because of a shortage of judges. The Supreme Court can only hear his challenge in May. Jame's legal team has asked for an injunction to block Barrow's inauguration. The president-elect Adama Barrow says he will stay in Senegal until his planned inauguration on Thursday. There are growing fears that the uncertainty could cause a refugee exodus. The 51-year-old leader seized power in the country in the year 1994 and uh, he has been accused of human rights abuse. Gambia's political crisis took centre stage at a summit in Mali where leaders said they hope Gambia's long-time leader will step down peacefully when the president-elect takes office next week. We hope that on the 18th the torch will be peacefully passed on to Adama Barrow. Eighteen, or effectively by January 19, he can take office.